In this video, we will learn about the basic row level security in SSAS tabular model. And here is the, the model that you can see. We have several tables that are connected with each other. And we, we are, for this example, we are interested only the internet sales with the customer table. And if I show you the data for the customer, so there are different columns here and we are interested only in the English occupation. And if you click here, you will see different occupations. So let's write one role. We can define role inside the management studio. So we are connected to the uh, analysis services. So here is the role, right? And if I click new role, and uh, then the role is like a manual, as you can see here. The occupation we have one role manual and uh, this is the name of the role like manual role and uh, there are different uh, permissions like a full control process database or the read and we are only interested in read and uh, then you have to click membership here we have to add one particular user or the other group that uh, contain lot of users, right? So let's add the username for this computer is uh, this one, Sark. And uh, if I click check name, so here we will see uh, this user. And uh, for this example, I have uh, created one one user, one test user. So this will be test user check name and this is the test user right click OK and here you can see if I um, after adding user to the membership we have to set the filter when you click on the row filter we will see different tables here and we are only interested in the customer table this uh, select this customer table and then we have to write the name will be the table name will be customer and the column is English occupation is equal to manual this one right so click OK and uh, let me sh uh, show you one more thing that how we can add user for adding the user in the system it's very straightforward you need to go to the control panel and here you have to search user and uh, then under user account you have to add add or remove user and uh, see i have added one uh, test user here then you need to click add new user and uh, here you have to add um add someone else this one i don't have this person sign in information click this one and uh, then you don't need to create microsoft account here you can click here add a user without microsoft account this one so then you can set the your desired name and password and then complete the visit that's all so that's how i i have added this test user account okay and uh, now everything is fine so i can i have two excel files so i can click to the book one and here you have to click data and then i need to click um, from other sources from analysis services, the name of the server, uh, the name of the server is, uh, need to copy. This is the analysis server name. So I can paste it here as well because we need it uh, later. So then this is the server name. For example, if I use uh, the Windows authentication, if I choose the first option, 
next and this is the model next and finish yes okay so here you can see if i drag the english occupation english occupation so here you can see we are getting clerical management and all the uh, professions so here we are able to see all the occupations because the logged in user is windows user on which we haven't implement any security settings so i can open the new workbook book 2 data and uh, we need to click data sources analysis services and server name and here is the the new user that we have added here if you see a manual role and a membership so here you can see this is the test user so now we need to connect to the extra workbook 2 with the test user and this is the password click next this is the model and next finish yes so now if i choose english occupation see we are only able to see one occupation that due to the role level security we are able to see only one manual uh, profession that we have set in the uh, tabular model using the role level security so this is the basic uh, role level security in the upcoming videos we will learn more about our dynamic uh, role level security and much more so if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and if you have any questions, please write in the comment section. Thank you.